Hello, my charmed ones, and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you've been following me for a while, you have likely heard me talk about one of my major productivity and planning strategies, the top three list. The top three list is a list of three prioritized daily tasks that you need to focus on for the day. Many women in my community come to me asking how they can get a handle on their never-ending to-do list, how they can find focus to ensure they're completing the most important tasks, and how they can make the time to work on their own personal goals alongside tasks for work, home, or family life. The top three list is a productivity and planning strategy that I believe addresses all three of those situations. This strategy is so impactful, in fact, that I intentionally design a daily top three list into all of my functional planning inserts. It's a basic fact of life that for most of us in any day, to borrow a line from Elton John, there's more to do than can ever be done. Most of us have never-ending, ever-growing to-do lists, and when you try to organize your day by your to-do list alone, you'll find that tasks are an infinite source of work that can easily drain your energy and take over the precious time you have in a day. If you're working off this never-ending list each and every day, I can confidently say I know there are things you are not getting done off that list. And I would bet that some of the things that you push off for the next day end up being priority tasks that really should have been completed today. So by taking the focus off your complete to-do list and instead pulling just three tasks from it to prioritize for the day, you will begin to see that by choosing those three tasks strategically, you will ensure you are always getting the most important work on your list done. There's also a fundamental principle of productivity known as the Pareto Principle, or the 80-20 rule. It states that just 20% of our actions create 80% of our results. That means that 20% of the things we do in a day are leading to the majority of our outcomes. So truly, there are some tasks that are just higher impact for our days than others. And the top three list gives us an opportunity each day to zero in on those few tasks that will truly yield the most results for us. So it would benefit all of us to start using the daily top three list as a jumping off point for our daily work. By no means does the top three list mean you only complete three things each day. Instead, these are just the tasks that really need to be prioritized. Sounds easy, right? Choose three tasks every day and get them done. Simple enough. Well, not quite. I will say that although this strategy is simple in theory, it's not as easy as it seems in practice because it requires us to be very good at prioritizing. It's not enough to choose any three tasks. This strategy only works when we choose the right three tasks. I consider the ability to prioritize our tasks a mental muscle that we need to flex in order to develop it to its potential. When you get started setting your daily top three, I promise you, you are going to make some mistakes. You will list out tasks that aren't actually priorities. You will think something is a priority, but then realize your error halfway through the day. And you are going to accidentally put projects on your top three instead of tasks. This is a very common issue that people have. But the more you use this strategy day in and day out, you are going to improve. You will start setting a better top three list, and it's going to bring you a completely new level of productivity, focus, and achievement when you start getting done the important tasks and letting go of the non-essentials. So to help you create a better top three list, I have a few tips or prompts for you to consider when you sit down at your planner each day. Tip number one, if you could only do three things today, which would make the day feel like a success? These might be tasks that you're afraid to tackle, but you know you'll feel so good when they're complete. Or these are tasks with impending due dates or that need to be done before something else that is also important can be accomplished. Tip number two, choose tasks that aren't part of the daily routine you always do. You don't need to prioritize things that are everyday no-brainers for you because you will likely have some form of self-discipline that kicks in to ensure you get those things done anyway. And tip number three, choose three individual tasks, not projects. A project is a collection of multiple steps or tasks that need to be accomplished. And if you put a project on your top three, it's going to take much more time and effort for you to complete and will undermine the effectiveness of this strategy. 
I hope this video and these tips help you to start using this simple but powerful planning and productivity strategy in your own daily life. If you're using a planner or inserts that do not give you the dedicated space to list out your top three each day, I highly recommend you check out my master plan system of inserts. As I mentioned earlier, all of the functional planning inserts I design, including those in the master plan system, include a dedicated space for this essential planning and productivity strategy because it's truly a game changer that will upgrade the way you work each day. Remember, for the month of February, I have a discount code FEB2021 for 20% off of the planning inserts and tools over at thecharmedshop.com. I'll leave you more details on that down in the description box and some links where you can pick up some of my favorite functional planning tools. Now I want to hear from you in the comments. Do you use the daily top three list strategy and how does it work for you? Do you find that you're getting better at prioritizing by using this strategy? And do you feel like you're actually able to accomplish more things, make progress on more objectives and priorities in your life when you are very strategic about the three tasks you choose to complete? I'd love to hear about your experience with it in the comments, so let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone you think would find it helpful. For more of the behind the scenes of my productivity life and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye